this video we'll discuss about nephritic syndrome so in nephritic syndrome we see that there is an involvement of the glomeruli and to a lesser extent of the uh, tubules so mainly glomeruli involved to a lesser extent renal tubules by a transient inflammatory reaction which clinically manifests as a reduction in GFR rapid renal failure proteinuria salt and water retention now in the features we will remember a cronium hypo okay hypo but you replace the i with the u so by h i have hematuria u for uremia P for proteinuria, another P for puffiness of face, pedal edema, and O for oliguria. Now coming on to the causes. In causes, uh, remember the acronym as PIMS, okay, or SIMP right so uh, first is the primary glomerular disease i have named these in a lot of videos so mesangio capillary glomerulonephritis membrano glomerulonephritis and such on go on then i for infections in infection it can be either streptococcal or non-streptococcal uh, post streptococcal glomerulonephritis or non-streptococcal glomerulonephritis bacterial viral and parasitic then M stands for miscellaneous. In this, we can mention about Gullion Barr syndrome, DPT vaccine, hyper uh, uh, albun hyper uh, gamma globulinemia, serum sickness. Okay, so by S we have systemic disorders like SLE, vasculitis, good pasture syndrome. Okay, in pathogenesis, what happens is there is the binding of antibody against the glomerular antigen glomerular basement membrane antigen okay then there is trapping of soluble immune complex then there is this formation of this complex in mesangium then action of circulating primed T cell with macrophages now coming on to the clinical features what we see is we see edema puffiness of face proteinuria hematuria circulatory congestion and so on in this uh, we will see urine in urine we will see RBC and cell cast then uh, a specific gravity, proteinuria, in blood urea and serum creatinine, uh, they can be increased. Cul we'll culture it for infectious etiology, then ASO titer will be uh, increased. The C3 level will be decreased. Then ANA auto anti-nuclear antibodies will be seen in SLE nephritis. Then X-ray chest will show us cardiomegaly. And renal imaging will be normal. Now coming on to the treatment, we will first treat the edema by some diuretics, breast, then vitals, infection by antibiotics, corticosteroids, dialysis, okay, uh, rest, then daily assessment of diet, vitals, then infection, we will give long acting penicillin sorry long acting penicillin is not recommended we give short acting penicillin then corticosteroids then diuretics for edema 
like furosemide, tolbutamide, then hypertension, all the, uh, mention all the drugs again, dialysis, indications, okay. Uh, now coming on to the complications, this is what you need to remember. Uh, remember something like HANO. So, H stands for hypertensive encephalopathy, hypertensive encephalopathy acute left heart failure non cardiogenic pulmonary edema and u stands for uremia